Good afternoon, everyone. You're tuned into the Community Hour on New Sound Radio 92 FM with myself, Nish. Today is Friday, the 6th of December, and now in the studio we do have Bryony Fall here. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Thank you so much for coming down to the studio today. Oh, thanks for having me. So, we're here to talk about your new album, which is called Paper Dreams. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, we're going to play, uh, firstly, a song from the album before we continue talking. Would you like to introduce it? Yeah, sure. Um, the first song we're going to play is uh, my my song Seesaw from my album Paper Dreams. So that was Seesaw by Bryony Fall from her album Paper Dreams and we do have her live in the studio. So can you talk to us um, a bit about that song please? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, Seesaw, uh, I actually wrote <laughs> when I woke up from a dream and I kind of had the lyrics going around in my head. Okay. Um, so I wrote it down and, and the song kind of turned into, uh, I don't know, it was kind of about, it's about immature relationships, about um, when you're not quite mature enough to be in a relationship and it's kind of like you're in the playground and having a bit of a kid fight or something yeah <laughs> bit of a metaphor <laughs> no that's a good metaphor and you know people can relate to it <laughs> yeah yeah so firstly let's just talk a bit about yourself um when did you start singing um, well, I started singing when I was really young um, at school. Uh, I used to have little bands with my friends, like girl bands, like we tried to be like the Spice Girls or whatever, and we'd okay. write our own songs and we'd sing them in assembly and stuff like that. Um, but then, uh, so that was about, I started doing that when I was about eight years old and, and I carried on uh, like having little bands in primary school. But when I went to secondary school, I got quite shy and I didn't really do anything with my music for ages and my lyrics got a lot more personal mm -hmm. and I was a bit um, scared to kind of expose them and show people and stuff like that and I started doing a bit of singing when I kind of uh, in sixth form uh, in plays and stuff like that and I really got into my acting and that made me a lot more confident okay. and so um, I went to drama school after that and uh, and I just thought actually if I'm not going to do anything with my songs now I never am so yeah. I thought it's, it's, you know, it's time to really go for it. And I did a little bit of, um, I did like a course at vocal tech singing school and got my voice a bit more, you know, mm -hmm. trained up or whatever. <laughs> and yeah, so yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> so doing acting and drama at school actually helped you, you know, overcome your shyness. Definitely. Yeah. I, I was very, very shy from between like the age of about, 11 to about 14 because I think I was I went to such a small primary school we only had like 12 people in our year there were six girls and six boys and okay. then I went to this massive uh, secondary school mm -hmm. and I was like whoa this is scary <laughs> so yeah I really got quite shy so it definitely helped doing the acting to you know yeah get me out of that <laughs> no that's good <laughs> otherwise you wouldn't be here today yeah <laughs> Now, you did mention before that you um, wrote Seesaw. So, have you written all your own songs? Yeah, yeah. I write all the lyrics. Um, the lyrics are the main important thing for me. Uh, I don't know. I, I always, whenever I write my lyrics, I always kind of don't really think and just just write them. They kind of come from the subconscious rather than... I don't really know how to explain it, but okay. yeah... I love writing and I write all the time. I've got so many lyrics and then I would go to my producer with my lyrics mm -hmm. and we work on a song together from there and I'd write them with him, the music, music-wise. So. so how long does it take for you to write a song, do you think? Do you have um, to like go over it and draft it or mm, things like that? Yeah, the initial like lyrics thing, I don't think at all when I write the lyrics, I just go blah, blah, blah mm -hmm. and write, write them all down really quickly and then I'll analyse them and I'll go to my producer, we'll sit down and we'll work out okay so I want it to sound like this I'll sing it to him and then he'll play a little melody on the guitar and I'm like yeah or I'm like no and yeah. then that process will take quite quite a few sessions to get a song to the point that you want it to sound so okay so now we're going to play another one of your songs from the album which one would you like to play next would you like to introduce it as well yeah yeah sure let's play um my song Little Red Skoda next uh, it's a song about my dad's car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the past cause it's the most fun I've ever had 
So that was your song, Little Red Skoda. You said it's about your dad's car. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us a bit more about that? Uh, yeah, uh, I wrote this song um, when I'd moved to London and uh, I wasn't that happy. I was kind of quite broke at the time and I was missing home, Aww. missing Devon and, uh, you know, missing my family. And I wrote that song. Uh, it's about my dad's um, old car that... It was just falling apart. It was a Skoda and it, it broke down <laughs> when we were on the way to a football game and we were stranded on the uh, 838 in Devon. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it just, I don't know, it just kind of came to me and, um, and I, I, yeah, I, I was a bit like, oh, I've written a song about a car, that's a bit weird, but people seem to like it when I showed them the lyrics. So it, I kind of, that was the first song I actually worked on with my producer, so... Okay. Yeah. So you have 10 songs on the album all together. How long did it take to um, the whole thing together and make it completed? Oh gosh, yeah, it took a really long time. <laughs> I started working with my producer about three years ago and we, we, we arranged about, I think, six or seven songs acoustically and I was doing live performances and stuff and, and I kind of just thought, you know what? I'm going to do an album. Let's just do it. Why not? I want to do it independently and have control. But because I did do it independently, it did take that much longer to do it. So we, it was pretty much a lot of it was home recorded. It home recorded. Some of it was done in a studio as well. So the album process of actually recording it all probably took about oh I think it was about nine months to maybe a year's time to just get it all done because um, okay. you've got to pay for stuff as well and um, fund your own work so that takes a while to kind of save the money so yeah, yeah it took a while yeah quite a long process as well isn't it yeah so you, the name of your album is Paper Dreams what made you come up with that name well uh, yeah I am a bit of a dreamer uh, one of the songs on the album is called uh, Daydreaming another one of the songs is called Paper Doll and I was kind of brainstorming and I came up with that name and uh, the the album's a reflection on um, imagination nostalgia and dreams and childhood and I kind of just like the word paper I thought it kind of represented like how fragile dreams can be and yeah it just kind of worked yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> it's a good name for the album yeah. <laughs> what's your favorite song that's on the album and why uh, it changes every day. I, I think it really depends what mood I'm in. If I'm in like a really happy mood, then I'm like, yeah, I love daydreaming. <laughs> it's my own <laughs> song, but I like it, you know, type yeah. thing. But if I'm in like more of a reflective mood, then I, Little Red Skoda is my favourite again. So it really, really depends. Like, I, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now you said that, you know, it did take a long time for you to put the album together and, you know, having to fund for your own things and stuff like that. Was it difficult actually to trying to break through as a new artist as a whole in the music industry oh yeah definitely I, i'm still kind of on my way uh trying to do it at the moment and it, it is very difficult um for independent artists that aren't signed and don't have anyone doing your, their own, like publicity or marketing it is quite difficult to get people interested but i'm starting to get a bit of a fan base and a following and getting a few more people at my gigs so hopefully by the end of next year i'll be on my way and and be yeah have a bit of a career out of it hopefully are you performing anywhere soon i've got three gigs coming up but i can't remember the dates they're all next year so but there are on your um twitter and facebook um, yeah well they're gonna be i need to add them on i'll add them on today what advice would you give to up-and-coming new artists i would say if if you if it's something you really want to do then you've got to pursue it as much as you possibly can don't be scared to work with other people and make make whatever the product you have as best as it can be um i would also say as well try and make everything as you know get some professional photos done think about your image and your and how you're going to market yourself yeah. and and how you can slot into uh, the industry basically do you think some people who write their own music and it's um, quite close to their heart, they might be I don't know, intimidated in case, you know, if they do like, approach producers, they might want to change it and make it a bit different? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, that's why I kind of went down the independent route because I, I did want kind of the power of doing my own thing. Um, yeah, it depends. I mean, I, they, I mean, people in the industry 
a lot of the time do know what they're talking about and would be able to help uh, artists with with how to kind of um how to record their songs and stuff but i think you should always if you're really passionate about how you want your own stuff to sound you should you should stick by that and and not change it because it probably won't end up sounding good if if your heart's not in it you know yeah yeah are you working on any new music at the moment or are you just focusing on your album? Yeah, at the moment it is uh, trying to, yeah, push this album, uh, but I'm constantly writing lyrics. I, I just can't stop my brain from doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll wake up in the middle of the night and have another new idea and write it down. So, yeah, it, I, I would like to maybe start working on some new stuff at the end of this year, but I'm, I just, yeah, I need to kind of push this one at the moment and see where I can go <laughs> with the songs I've got. Yeah. Yeah, but at least you've got like loads of um, other ideas that you know you can definitely work with in the future. Yeah, yeah. Um, so where can people and like the listeners buy your album from and listen to your songs? Yeah, um, it's on iTunes. That's that's the easiest place probably for most people to buy it. You can just buy it with a click of your finger. <laughs> but there's it's also on Amazon as well. Amazon is another good place to to, to buy it. Uh, and it's on a few other places as well, like some... Uh, I, oh, it's on Spotify, so okay. you can stream it uh, for free. But, yeah, buy it if you like it. <laughs> yeah, definitely need to support upcoming new artists. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you are on Twitter and Facebook as well, where people can keep up to date with your new music and where you're performing. Yeah, yeah, I'm on Facebook. I've got uh, my uh, music page on there. And I'm on Twitter as well and Instagram uh what else am i on <laughs> i think yeah that's kind of the main things that i use i'm still getting used to twitter i'm a bit rubbish at that but <laughs> <laughs> you'll get used to it I'm yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> and that's just at briny fall with your full name yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming into New Sound Radio Thanks today. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Nice pleasure. We definitely want to see you back in the studio again, singing yeah. live as well. Yeah, that'd be great. Once I've uh, got my band together, I'll definitely come back and do a performance. Yeah, definitely. Well, best of luck with everything in the future. And the last song I'm going to play is um, the first one from your album. Would you like to introduce it? Yeah, this song is uh, called Bully Boy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're tuned into the Community Hour on New Sound Radio 92 FM with myself, Nish. Thank you very much to Bryony Fall for coming into the studio talking about her album, Paper Dreams. You can catch her performing next on January the 30th at the Troubadour, which is in South Kensington. Also on the 21st of February at the Comedy Club in Leicester Square and on the 4th of March as well at the Bedford. To find out more information, you can check her out on Twitter and Facebook at Bryony Fall. That's spelt B-R-Y-O-N-Y-F-O-A-L-E.